Hello everybody. I know it's been a couple of weeks. I have I have an excuse. I was really really sick with the flu and yeah, pretty much most of those two weeks. But anyway, I'm back again. And um, I, as you know, just filmed this this makeup look. This is not a daytime look. I would not go out during the day with this amount of makeup on my face. However, it is a very, very nice, I would actually say, uh, perfect look for nighttime, a nighttime event of any kind. Um, it's a very smoked out black and brown and blown out at the end of the eyes and again giving that lifting of the end of those eyes it's to me so important because as we age we tend to lose the ability to keep that that way unless we have five hundred dollars per botox injection which i don't happen to have and if i did have i don't know if i'd want people sticking needles in my face um, I'm gonna have another video on skincare for those of us who are experiencing issues with uh, aging because uh, I believe very much in the routine that I do and with the exception of I believe it's called higher hyaluronic acid and um, a vitamin C serum which I am getting I have everything else that I believe is really important to keep your skin really 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 healthy and as young as we possibly can for as long as we possibly can um, I really don't think that for a woman in my age bracket that I look old or older than what I actually am so that tells me and also genetics on um, on my mom's side I help a lot you know most of us don't look old for our ages but it's very very important to continue to take care of your skin so I'm gonna do a video just on that alone and everybody's different um, I'm not saying what's working for me is going to work for all of you. I, I'm just going to share with you what I believe does work for me. So in this video, um, you may notice I have a few new products that I'm really, really happy about. Um, and that's this blush here by Hard Candy. It's a blush and a um, highlighter. If you will excuse, please, how many times I say, um, it's a habit. I'll work on it. Uh, it's, I just did it again. It's a blush and a highlighter all in one, so that's nice. And this was about $6, and this one is called Sunburst $9.93. And I very much would recommend that you guys pick this up. It's beautiful. Also, I finally got around to picking up the Physician's Formula. Uh, pearl this is not called pearl but it looks like pearls this one is called uh, translucency pearl it is called pearl and if I can get this open of course it's not gonna open while I'm on camera because I never do oh wrong side okay so it's got the actual pearls and then if you lift up here, it's got a mirror and a little brush. So I think that's really, really cool. However, this costs about $12. It's a really, really good product, though. And that's why I waited so long to get it, because it is a little pricey. But I'm very happy with it. I think it was worth the $12. And along with that, I got a new lipstick. This is by Hard Candy. And it's called Wanted. That's what it's called. But it really, what it is, is a, like a pinkish red with like a purpley undertone. It's beautiful. I have it on now. It's a little faded. But um, 
it's beautiful and I think it goes great with a nighttime look such as this one however it's not as matte as I would have liked so in that case there's a little trick where you just blot out your lipstick and then put another coat over it and that'll give it more longevity so with all of that said I don't think there's anything else pretty much everything except for the mascara the lashes the brows and the eyeliner what well, was done on camera so you'll see everything and until I can get hopefully I don't get sick until I can get to this next time I'll see you guys later bye bye Okay, so here getting right into it, I am showing you what I am using to prepare my face, what I have used, because I've already done this. And then I'm going to be getting right into the eyes. So I'm just showing you guys everything that I'll be using. All the tools, these are paint brushes by the way, the uh, Royal line. And you see all that wind in my hair, that's the window in front of me, like I've mentioned before. The best way to put on your makeup is in front of a window. So I have the lights and the window. So I am priming my eyes with the Wet n Wild Fergie from the Fergie line primer. And then here I am going to be, that's by LA Colors and that would be a dupe for the Milk by uh, NYX I believe it is. And I'm going to be placing that as a, not as a primer, but as a base. And the little brush is just a generic brush, and I'm blending that out with my finger. And that's uh, going to go there because there are going to be some really nice light colors that are going to go there, and I wanted them to pop. So a good way to get your colors to pop is to put down some white base the lightest you can find. So that's what I'm doing here. And you can see I take that into my tear duct because those colors will be going in that area as a highlight. You see I, I talk all throughout this video. and I'm actually talking to you guys but I decided to go ahead and do a voiceover. So this here is a black and this is an, it's not Onyx, it's N-O-I-R, it's by e.l.f. And it's a, I'm using that as a base and to get my shape at the end of the eye. This also is, um, it, it's a, it's not a waxy pencil, but the base of this pencil, I can't think of the word right now. Anyways. I'm using it as a base, not as an eyeliner, and on top of that, I'm going to be using an e.l.f. cream gel or cream or gel liner. That's going to go under the really dark colors that are going to go at the end of the eye, starting with this. And I'm using the Royal paintbrush to just get the shape just how I want it. And you can see that's going right above my natural crease. And that there's the cream liner because this liner I don't believe is gel it's a cream liner and there is a difference and I am going ahead and blending that out with the synthetic paintbrush and in this process I do a lot of shaping because once I start putting the powders on I'm gonna set all of that cream Oh, I went out of focus here. So this here is a it's a curved blending brush. Essence of Beauty makes these. And the reason why I'm using that brush is because of the shape of it. It's got an angle so it fits right in that area. Because I don't want to move that black too far. Because then I'll just make a mess. As you can see, it's very easy to do. So you can see I'm turning the brush around and the angle is just right for 
the crease area or the socket area. And I took the brown from this this profusion palette that I just picked up and showed you. It's called the Drama Palette. There's like six colors. Three are shimmers and three are mattes. I'm using the brown matte. I also, before this, used a brown matte, a little bit lighter than this, from the Wet n Wild. They're little uh, eyeshadow palettes. And then I'm blending all of that in. So it's going to go from the dark black, which I'm setting now with the browns, but as I get into the powders, it's going to go from light to dark and then back to light as I move into the middle of the eye and that's going to cause like an ombre effect. This here is by LA Colors as well. It's a pigment and so I am uh, going ahead and pl placing some of this because it, because it has a little tiny bit of shimmer over the brown. I'm trying to explain it really well so that if you want to recreate it you don't put that in the wrong place or you can just completely skip that part I just did it because there's a little bit of shimmer in there so that went over the darkest of the browns and then I take the tannish brown and that's in the middle of the eye and then the off-white matte or the creamy color that looks like foxy it goes in the very inner part of the eye and then this is a Wet n Wild angled blending brush. That's what I'm using to blend everything in the middle of the eye. And each color is blending into the color before it, if that makes any sense. And that I use in the inner corner. And that is the matte off whitish. So these are all in the same color family. It's just from dark to light. And then I went back to dark and then back to light. And then the shimmer in that palette, the very lightest, and it would be the same color as what I have in the inner part of the eye by the tear duct only. It's a shimmer on the brow bone. And the one on the tear duct is a matte. And all of that comes from that Profusion palette. And this is an angled brush by e.l.f. and I'm taking this black and I'm taking that under the eye. As I don't know if you noticed but I took that dark brown under the eye with a different brush. I think I skipped that part. And this black goes right onto the lash line. So right under that I've already smudged the brown. The same brown that I have set the e.l.f cream liner with at the end of my eye on the top. So that's the same exact brown that's on the bottom and it connects. And then here it is again. I'm using it again. So I've used it twice. And that's going to go ahead and turn around and smudge well not smudge but even out the black. It's, it's not easy to explain all of this. I just hope that you guys can see it. And if you need to pause hit pause so that you can see the effect because it's from dark and then I go into a medium and then back to dark and then all all the way into lighter colors as I go into the inner part of the eye. Here I'm explaining to you that I have done my brows and I'm showing you all the products I've used. I have put on my false lashes which came from that Profusion eyeshadow palette and I have done my eyeliner and I use the same cream eyeliner that I use to create the black at the end of the eye on the top and the waterline is one of the Sephora eyeliners in that box I have gone ahead and prepped my face uh, with the baby skin and then now I'm using an elf primer the green one it's the only one I have I'll be using a foundation and I'll have to put the name of it in the description box, even though I know I show it to you, but it's not coming to me off of the top of my head 
I believe it's a Rimmel one that I, I've been wanting. I'm shaking it right there. And uh, that's, I believe, a tannish color. It's a medium beige. Most of my foundations are that color. I'm mixing it in with a Sephora shimmer. And I, you have to even that out really, really well if you're going to do that so that it distributes evenly over the face. And that's just going to give me a really nice... A really nice satiny look to my foundation and that is the essence of beauty foundation brush that I'm using to work that in Then I'm going to take a beauty wedge and it's stamp and go over that and that's just to work it into the skin evenly and that gives it more of a dewy look as well I don't know why these videos say they're 23 minutes. I'm already almost done. So here goes the beauty blender or beauty wedge. Make sure everything is evenly worked into the skin by doing this. You don't have to do it. I choose to do it. It gives you more of a dewy, flawless look. And here you're using the Glamouflage, and this is their lightest shade. I'm going for a highlight, and at the same time, cover that dark line that I have. I no longer have the severe bags, but I still have that darkness that you can clearly see right under my tear ducts. And so I'm highlighting the high points of the face, and going back in with the Beauty Wedge and blending all of that out. That's going to give me a nice highlight and also leave it nice and dewy as well. So I keep that dewiness in the face. I'm showing you that uh, it has covered that dark line. At the same time, it gave me a, a very nice highlight. So today I highlighted my face. I don't usually do that. Especially not using concealers. That this is a night look and this is all of the processes that I would go through to put on my my going out at night makeup. So here with the Sephora, again, the same Sephora highlight. This is the liquid. I use that on the high points of my face once again. I'll also be using powders. So I have a really nice highlighted look to the face. Here I'll be setting all of that with the NYC Translucent Powder. And this really is worked into the T-zone. I use what's left on the brush for the rest of the face. Because I want to keep that dewiness. And here with the Profusion Contour Palette that I've got. And it's got a couple of blushes in there as well. And two highlights. I'm contouring. And that's a generic brush. I don't even know where I picked that up from. And then here I'm going to be using the lighter shade to do a little bit of bronzing. I was listening to something on the TV and that's why you see me cracking up like that. And here, I'm going back in with a smaller brush, and those are the Echo Tool brushes, and I am contouring my nose. And this is the blush I spoke about in my introduction by Hard Candy. One side is a highlight, the other side I just swoosh it all together and use it as a blush. It's got a very, very nice sheen to it. And because the camera drains colors, this color actually is a lot darker than what you see here. That's, that so angers me because that's not the true color of that blush. But anyway, it's a little pinker than what you see. And then with my fan brush, I'm going in with the 
physician's formula highlight. It's the pearls. It's actually called that. Translucent pearl. I'm very, very happy with this eyeshadow look, and I'm going to recreate this myself the next time I go out at night because it's it's got such a pretty ombre effect. So this is an e.l.f. eyeshadow, but I use these single eyeshadows because they're baked. They have a very nice satiny sheen to them over my blushes. And then here goes the Hard Candy Lipstick I uh, introduced in my introduction. And this is a Rimmel lip liner called Coffee Bean. And I'm going to be not only lining my lips with that, but I'm going to be filling in my lips with that. And that's going to give the lipstick more longevity as well as um, more pigmentation. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really dark. It's going to be a lot darker than the actual lipstick is normally. And this lipstick is not as matte, I said this in the introduction, as I would have liked. So that's why I did this this way. And as I mentioned, the brows, the lashes, and the eyeliner, all of that was done off camera. This is the last thing I know that I do in this video, so I will be doing more night looks like this in different colors, some with cut creases, some not, some just completely blown out, smoked looks like this one. Um, I'm going to do a series of them, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, and thanks for watching.